What's up, boy? You beautiful, gorgeous, sexy. People out there, welcome back to some more Area Call of target. Duty Black Ops 3 Beta. This time we're using a different specialty running into this map, a map I haven't shown you guys just yet. I'm going to go around this corner. This seems to be a high traffic area. I'm going to throw that grenade up, see if we can't get a lucky bounce. It looks like mine went to the side and someone's right there. And if they don't come in a second, I'm just going to take off the opposite way because I don't want anyone sneaking up on me, especially because I see that red dot coming. Hello, this is your ass down. down. <laughs> so anyways guys in the last video I used the glitch specialty and I'm getting shot out right here in the water one thing that I haven't seen before in a Call of Duty I don't know if it was an advanced warfare or not but you can actually uh, that area right there you can go into the water and you can actually pull your gun out and shoot people while they're swimming around going run on this wall right here don't really like using that bridge it's definitely a high traffic area I want to stay away from those work my way around the map I don't like staying still I don't like camping I don't like hiding in one area I like running around like a chicken with my head cut off getting kills killing people kicking ass and taking names but anyways you see right there that blonde lady that I just shot with the head in the head kill shot to the face that's the lady I am right now it's called the battery and I'm using a war machine perk which means it's basically a grenade launcher that goes off I just shot you in the booty and I'm gonna shoot you in the anus get those booty shots you're like fourth girl you just took my bullets to the butt bullets to the butt but anyways guys this gameplay really really went well for me as far as this class goes I'm not really too sure on it, of it right now you know this is my first game using it and it was kind of just going ham bone I can see how these specialties as I turn around and get killed and blindsided but I can see how these specialties are going to be really really annoying I'm not used to these in the Call of Duty of course they were in Destiny most of these were the same thing from Destiny even the grenade launchers kind of reminds me of some of the stuff in Destiny but overall it seems like these specialties are going to be super super annoying and super OP. Most of them are one shot kill. Some of them can lead to triple kills, multi multi kills, and there's nothing you can really do about it because they're just there. They just got their thing, and now they're just going to annihilate you with that. As far as the beta here, I'm going to pull out right there. That's the little grenade launcher I have, and unfortunately, I get killed before I could use it, but that's fine. After this, I believe, is where I just completely go off and start killing every single thing in my past. Shit down, you blonde lady. Sit down, dude. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's a triple kill. Give me that. That was a headshot. Give me that that triple kill you coming you want some no I just got the double all right but anyways guys that grenade launcher is kind of OP as far as the beta itself goes I'm still kind of feeling it out a little bit I can see some of the things it kind of it really does feel like a traditional call of duty but you can still bounce around fly around do all that stuff it's definitely not advanced warfare at all you're not gonna be killed from multiple angles people aren't flying around in multiple angles those boosts are really just to get from one place to another from one ledge to another there's nobody camping up high on ledges there's no one up in the air most most of the time if they're flying around they're within shots where you can you know shoot them because they have a trajectory they're, they're not gonna just bounce up and kill you okay you're still good with that but as far as this beta goes die die blondie die but as far as the beta goes you know so far I, st I kind of enjoy it but I still have my reservations about it especially because the connections right now are just like any connections in COD you can say it's a beta all you want but these COD connections are persistent I always have this lag persistent lag happening all the time I'm gonna let this dude run out here you can die but I have this persistent lag all the time and no matter what Call of Duty happens or whatever Call of Duty it is they don't have it seems they promise dedicated servers but it yeah, never lag. whatsoever happens so the lag right now in the beta is just most of the time is just off the charts as far as the, the game itself goes without the lag you know it's kind of like every other Call of Duty you're gonna have your rage moments where you know this sucks it's complete garbage complete dookie you don't feel like it's crap those Call of Duty famous rage moments where you just want to throw your freaking controller and turn the game off but then the, on a positive side because that was a little bit of a negative obviously here you see what happens he shoots out three Ray I got one kill we're gonna keep rolling with this keep using it and I'll show you guys what happens and how this is freaking OP all right I run into their spawn area right here and watch what happens three three kills just like that triple kill I got a triple kill in like the matter of seconds that's just crazy completely completely crazy 
Z. But anyways, as I said, once you when you're in those down moments, you're going to want to throw your controller, obviously. But there are still moments just like that right there, or this right here, where it feels like a great game, where you feel rewarded for killing a lot of people. And that's where when, when it's going good, it's good. When it's going bad, it's bad for you. It's kind of like a football game or a sports video game. When you're doing great and things are going your way, you're going to enjoy the game and want to play more. But when it goes bad, it's just going to suck and you're going to want to rage. Here's this thing called the Talon. I'm flying around in their spawn once again, trying to get kills. I picked up a, like seven, maybe. I picked up a lot of kills between my kill streaks. This is another thing that's different from Advanced Warfare. The kill streaks actually feel like they're useful, and everyone knows in Advanced Warfare that was garbage. Final kill. There we go. Game over. But, anyways, my other takeaway from this beta so far is. Just keep trying it out. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to tell how the game is just from a week of playing it because it's only going to be five days of the beta. And I don't even know if I'm still going to buy it because I still really want Battlefront. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap things up for me. I just wanted to show you this new class, this new specialty that I'm playing. I'm looking sexy, sexy today. I kind of look like Scarlett Johansson. I'm a babe. Dang. But anyways, guys, I went 29 and 5. Good job. Good job. Pat myself on the back there. But anyways, guys, stay frosty. And I love you.